Wow, that fired almost immediately. Welcome back to another Magic the Gathering Pro Tour Cube Draft, courtesy of myself and the internet and Magic Online. And all of you fine folks in the chat. Well, Cadaverous Bloom. What are the odds of actually getting the Cadaverous Bloom Prosperity deck? Like, you have to actually open Prosperity too, right? Hmm. I'm real tempted to try it, though. Thanks. Snow Colossus, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um, I don't know if there's any other cards that are really pulling me more than this. I'll do it. If there's a Sphinx's Revelation is pretty good, right? That's kind of like a prosperous. That's kind of like prosperity. Is it even possible? Because don't you need? What do we have to get? Like drain life. I want to look up the deck just to make sure. I really don't think it's possible. Yeah, you, you you want to keep prosperity into draining life and then bigger and bigger and then you just drain life for a million. Either way, I'm pretty sure I take Sphinx of Revelation for obvious reasons. Cyclonic Rift. I don't know how many of the ways there are for, for us to do that. I don't think there's enough. I really don't. I think this cube is weird because it gives you a lot of like, it gives you a lot of hope. You're like, oh man, cool prosperity. I'm going to make the Prost Bloom combo. And then you realize, well, that deck kind of requires a bunch of different, uh, a bunch of different cards. It also requires squandered resources, which I don't think is in this cube. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it's either Cyclonic Rift here or Remand. I'm gonna go with Cyclonic Rift. I think it's a stronger card. Everyone, I, I've played against multiple people with Deep Analysis, so I think I'm probably gonna take the Deep Analysis. Dragosi, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Well, welcome back, I think. I think it's just deep analysis here. Thanks. Magic Buffalo, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate the... Uh, burgeoning sub train that's happening right now I like it I'm a fan hmm a dual land with the one color that we are not okay that's cool I'm probably gonna take the dissolve here what a random 79 D Tanos man thank you so much dude you are unbelievable we could take Deed, but I actually don't like Deed because it kills everything. I'm just going to go with the Dissolve here. I'm going to try to be base blue. Like, I like the Cadaver Bloom and uh, Prosperity or Sultai colors. Oh, wow. That's hilarious. Compulsion. No, that's not going to do it. Hmm... It's a good forever YouTube. Yeah, you discard one YouTube subscriber to gain two Twitch subscribers. That's a good deal. That is a solid deal. I wonder if it's just Chameleon Colossus here. <laughs> oh, it's definitely a compulsion. I can, I can, uh, that's what I'm looking for. Confirm? Confirm that. Yeah, we'll go with confirm. Yeah, I guess it's just Colossus. I don't think there's any better card in this pack. Why did it just go there? Man, another red dual land. 
Psychotome Cadaverous Bloom? Is that a thing? No. Because this is exile a card, so like you can't actually even put them in the graveyard. Hmm. Memnite could be OP. It's just Psychotog. It's upheaval in this cube. Let's Psychotog. Whatever. Liliana Vest, we can go get like a Cadaverous Bloom or a Necropotence. Let's take let's take the Vest. And then we're gonna try to splash the Sphinx's Revelation off of a uh, random white source, I guess. Oh, the Necro came back. That's interesting. I can't tell if we want that or Sphinx of Lost Truths. The problem with Necro is that you don't get the cards till the end of your turn. So, like, you don't actually get them. You can't actually use it with Bloom, right? You're looking for Yogmoss, like a Yogmoss Bargain type card where you can just draw at at will. So I almost want to take just Sphinx of the Lost Trees because we can play Sphinx, draw three, and then try to. Yeah, I don't. I'm not. I don't think Necro is where you want to be, especially with Triple Black. This deck is very interesting. I don't actually hate it though. I had the more idea this be the other day, and it wasn't actually that bad. It's a 4 4 flyer in a limited format. I like Vendillion Click, but it is double blue, whereas this is blue black, which is going to be probably easier to cast. Yeah, I'm actually going to take the more eye. Oh, that was a good land. All right. That was a nice little, nice little reward there. I like that our only green cards are Chameleon Colossus and Cadaverous Bloom so far. Make it three to five color deck and prioritize multicolor cards. Yeah, I could see that. That seems pretty reasonable. Oh, the deed came back. Oh, so did Elvish Visionary, which is just a free card. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Visionary there. Oh, Regal Force? Yeah, we'll play that. We won't play that. <laughs> Go for the gold. Hmm. Delta seems exactly where we want to be. No prosperity. Yeah, it's probably Delta here. I'm a little upset about that non- I just don't think Necro does what we want it to do. Like, if it was Yawgmoth's Bargain, I would have 100% taken it, because you get to draw during your turn, so you can go pay one life, make two mana, pay one life, make two mana, and you can literally just kill them during your turn. But, like, Necro doesn't actually draw you cards. It puts the cards aside, and then you draw them at the end of your turn. So you can't actually cast anything else with that mana that turn. Well, that's interesting. So let's say you have four cards in hand, right? You exile all of them for eight mana. Right? Eight mana. You prosperity for... S and you can tap three. Let's say we have three mana untapped, right? So you tap... That's 11 mana. You tap it. You draw 10 cards. You make 20 mana. Yeah, we're going to take prosperity. You know what? This probably would have tabled. But... We're doing it. Hey, 
Hammer to Torox seems okay. Agony Warp is okay. Hammer to Torox feels weird when we're just going to go Prosperity, draw a million cards. Oh, Rain Viper is gas. I'm just scared of the double blue. Or the double green, rather. Um, I don't hate Sky Spawner, either. I mean, the cube is all over the place. It's basically just the uh, the winning decks from the Pro Tour, so... I think it's actually Sky Spawner here. It's easier on the mana. Oracle Omaldia seems actually pretty good if we're trying to... Uh, If we're trying to ramp to things like Cadaverous Bloom and any of these guys. No fixing land. I would take a fixing land here, but... Oh, wow. You people have no respect. I like Rampant Growth and Civic Wayfinder here. Hmm. I kind of want to ramp to four, though, so I think we want the Rampant Growth first. Wow. Cruel Ultimatum, huh? That is something. Yeah, I think we want this on two, and then we want to cast one of these guys. That is my theory. <laughs> well, I think Deceiver X Arc and Electrolyze are the best two picks in this pack, but without a... Profane Command is actually neat, because you can Cadaverous Boom up Profane Command. Yeah, I like that a lot. Blooming Marsh. Oh, the Drain Life. Well, I guess we're taking that. Yeah, so this deck's coming along pretty well, if I uh, do say so myself. Stupor seems pretty good. Better than Murderous Cut? Mm, I don't know. I think there are more effects like Murderous Cut than there are like Stupor. Why you know Splash? Well, because we're not going to play it till turn 13, likely, with this mana base. We literally have two fixing lands. That's pretty rough. Man. Pestermite. No one ever goes for the Splinter Twin. That's kind of funny. Is it? I don't know. Shuffle three cards from their graveyard into their library. Um... That could be good. It's probably not good. I'm going to take it in case you lose a combo piece. We can just shuffle it back in. I don't know if that's good or not. I also think we're heavier green than black now. Sure. Hmm. None of these cards are exciting. All right, so I like the way this looks so far. Counter spell. Flooded strand could be good. I think it's either Doom Bland, Doom Bland, Flooded Strand, or Counter Spand. 
A bland, a strand, or a spland? Oh, a Simic Sky Swallower is gas. Don't make no mistake. Flooded Strand does get our white source and our blue source, which is nice. Oh yeah, contagion making negative two, negative one counters. Yeah, that's that's efficient. I don't like counter spell here just because it's double blue. Sky Swallower is also an option. Sky Swand. I'm going to take the Flooded Strand here. I think I care more about my mana than I do about... Yeah, this is another another option here. Moldrifter also pretty good. I would like one one uh, like Dual Land or, or Shock Land that I could actually search out with these, but... No such luck yet. Windswept Teeth, not bad. Not a big Ponder fan. I would also want to take Moldrifter just over Ponder. I'll take it, but I don't love it. God, really? Probably Temple of Malady here. Uh, I don't see anything else that's super good. Omen Speaker could be reasonable, but I think I'd just rather have the Temple here. Hmm. Wall of Roots could be very good. Or we can just hope to hit a, an Illusions in this pack. Always the Frank special. Always. Wall of Roots. I think I'd be Wall of Roots. If there's an Illusions in this pack, I'm going to be... I'm going to... I'm taking it, and then we're going to hope it wheels. Compulsive Recharge seems great. Utami Orangutan is actually really strong. Uh, it's just the main decker. Well, no land. Worry beads? What the hell is worry beads? <laughs> what even is that, man? We already have deep analysis, ponder, Sphinx's Rev, Prosperity. Like, we already have a bunch of ways to draw cards. I think I actually want the Uktabi because it does something that we don't have an ability for yet. Beginning of each player's upkeep, that player puts the top card of their library into their graveyard. What the hell? That sounds terrible. <laughs> the shit cube. <laughs> oh, that's gas. That's fantastic. Wow. Time Spiral feels insane here, right? Like we just add a bunch of mana, draw seven for Bloom. Yeah, we're taking the Time Spiral, boys. We're doing it. Give me one land that I could fetch here. Give me a green blue or like a, a blue black or something that I can get with all of these. They're not going to give it to me, are they? Nothing in here is great. I'm just going to take Thren Dynamo. I think it's the best card in here. And Brushland is playable. Gets our Sphinx's Revelation online. Would I take a Fetid Pools? Um, wow, this guy came back? It's pretty good. Probably playing that guy.
worry beads? Worry like beads? Worry what the hell is worry beads? <laughs> What even is that, man? What even is that, man? Why did you clip that? <laughs> oh, don't worry. Get beads. Don't worry. Get the beads. Boop, boop, boop. Have you noticed any strategy in this cube that are better than? Not really. This cube's hard to parse. Our lands are pretty bad. I might cut the Sphinx, but we have like two lands that can get it. I don't know. Thank you. Mr. Tasty, thank you so much for the resub. Really, I guess I'll keep watching. I appreciate it. Last pick Arrogant Worm one time. Gem Palm Incinerator. What, I need one more cut here? <sighs> Space Dragon Slayer, what's going on? Good to see you. He is actually dude. Uh, I feel like I can consistently 2-1 in this cube. I don't know if today is going to be any different. It might be. We need one more cut. I kind of like Thran Dynamo because we have a lot of expensive X spells. Maybe Psychotog gets the cut. That seems kind of bad. I mean, we get to draw cards. Maybe it's actually great. <sighs> Is Liliana Vest the cut? Oh, man. No, that seems good. It tutors up all of our parts. It tutors up all of our parts. We have, like, no removal in our deck. Uh, what's my secret? I actually uh, wash and uh, take care of my hair daily, I guess. I guess that's my secret. I don't even think today... I don't even think today it looks that good, to be honest with you. Today was just kind of lazy. I was just like, eh. Like, our mana gets better without Sphinx's Rev, right? God, Wibbly Foo, no, dude. No. This is this 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 gets bad and this gets bad. Like the, the Sphinx's Rev almost seems free with these two, because we just play one one planes, right? So it's almost like a freebie. Where'd it go? Did it just disappear? I can't put lands up here? That's weird. I don't think we cut any of these two drops. I think maybe we can cut it dissolve because it's double blue and I don't want to have double blue that early. Yeah, I like that. All right. So one, perfect. Four, five, six, seven. That'll do. Three, four, five, six. That'll do. Four, five, six. That seems actually fine. I'm actually okay with this mana base. Oh, look, the planes is there now. I'll get it. All right, here we go. Well, we can't get a green. 
But we can deep analysis at some point. Yeah, we'll just keep this hand. Any any green source in this hand is great. Because with green, we can get white. And then we can also play turn three deep analysis. Nailed it. Mm, bottom that guy. We are not there yet. Wow. Well, that's something all right, isn't it? Wish I kept that land or wastes. Well, got the white land anyway, I guess. Here we go. Get rid of a Doom Blade. Hypnotic Spectre. Well, isn't that cute? I'm going to crack this now because it shuffles the Land of War Waste back in, and also we can just get a second blue. So what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Whatever we draw is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can deal eleven damage. It's a lot. Oh man, I was hoping to draw that last turn, but also with the forest to deny them the ability to play this guy. Oh, that's pretty good. They're presumably gonna kill our Liliana Vest next turn, because that's what you that's what you do. On the bright side, the Psychotog is pretty unbeatable at this point. It is a black creature that I can raise the toughness of. Come on, green card. It's a good one. That's pretty brutal against the Psychotog. Wow. Also not bad against the Liliana. Okay, it deals one damage to the player, so they can't redirect it. Sure. Well, we need a green source here, which is pretty awkward. But next time we can go stupor and yeah, we're just gonna put a forest on top. My god, what a time to be alive. I don't think they can really attack with burning tree shaman here, because we just block it. We'll take two, but I mean, I don't have a problem discarding like rampant growth and, and eating two graveyard cards, so. All right, well, I guess that does it. Yep, that's pretty good. Obviously.
I just don't see a point to attacking. Like, if we attack them, they'll just take it, and then we they attack for four hundred seventy nine, and like going to five here is pretty terrible against a burning tree shaman. I guess you take an extra point for nothing. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's pretty stupid. Go to seven. Yep, that's the end. I mean, we could deep analysis and take like a million, but I don't think that's the correct play. All right, so much of flying, guys. Seems good. Orangutan seems great if they can actually, if we hit their chrome mocks, but I don't know how many other targets we have for it. Wasn't thrilled with Psychotog there. I'd rather just have more eye. All right. Keep. I wonder if I just get another green. Yeah, we can get a blue and a white. Yeah, we just get a second green so we can play Oran Viper on turn three. This also lets us, play, lets us play Chameleon Colossus if we draw it, so that's pretty good. I had your last draft queued in the tab of my browser and I clicked it accidentally. Clicked to it accidentally and started playing and I was really confused. Oh, all right, what's going on? Hmm. Probably just going to run out Oran Viper. Like, we could play this, but we have nothing to really do with it. We also don't have a second black here, so they're just going to kill it with a... Yeah, obviously. That was fun. I had a good time with Oran Viper. Big Grandpa, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome, welcome. Second blue or a second black is what we're looking for here. Wow, strip mine too, huh? This is a good matchup. Oh my, f come on, dude. We're gonna get a rift here because if we get profane command, we can bring back Oran Viper and kill this guy. If we get a black source. That is not a black source. Can't even cast this guy. So I guess we discard that, I think. And then we can get it. I don't want this just because uh, I don't want to give them a million cards until we have Cadaverous Bloom. Yep. Did 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, lose X life. Nope. Return a creature. Yep. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're gonna get back Sphinx. Kill this guy. We get to keep one card. We're gonna keep Chameleon Colossus here. Where's the Uktabi orangutan when you need him? Warden of the first tree. Sure. Oh, obnoxious. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, they know they got to play some stuff here. I will take two. It's a good dude. Man, time spiral on the top of the deck is pretty comical. Sylvan Advocate. That is worse than a Thrun, so. Fair. No blocks. Go to six. Hope there's island island on top. Nope. Not island island. Literal blank. Hmm. <sighs> Yep, that's game. All right. Had a good time. Didn't have a good time. I don't know if our deck is very good. Our deck seems actually terrible. This is the first time I'm going to say that, guys. He's always saying how good his deck is. This time it's terrible. Takes credit for Terra Bad Deck. <laughs> Alright, this hand's actually pretty okay. Like we have to get a black here, even though Sphinx is really isn't our hand. Unless we hit a black here. Actually, even if we hit a black there. So now we want double black, double green, double blue, and a white, and our mana base just does not support these costs. I don't think it's it's Oh, that was pretty good. Alright. Um Let's play this guy first. I 
I think we want to get the well. I want to get the actually. I want to get a forest because I want to be able to definitely play this guy. And I think we have enough uh, blue and white sort, blue and black sources in our deck to make these guys just fine. So now we can play this next turn. No counter spell seems good here. Oh, interesting. I like resolving Chameleon Colossus against the blue-black deck. I am okay with everything that's happening right now. Do we just swing for eight? Hope they don't have Cyclonic Rift. Wow. How lucky. Fact or fiction? Let's split them up like this. The swamps are red with the drain, but if you want a second blue source, you're going to have to take the... Yep, all right, so triple swamp and read the bones. Or double swamp. Swamp, swamp, read. You played a swamp, so I know you have a swamp and a read in hand. Seems okay. Take three, deal three, sure. You got it. Why don't we just attack for eight? What are the odds they actually can kill this guy next turn? I mean, they just have to have an answer to a Chameleon Colossus, right? They have to have, a, like, a blue creep. That ain't going to do it if you've tapped all of your non-black... Yeah, you're probably dead to Chameleon Colossus. Wow, that was insane. <laughs> Chameleon Colossus OP, guys. Oh, Chameleon Colossus is OP. Take the orangutan and bring it to Dissolve. I don't hate this hand. In fact, I might like it. Yeah, I think the only sack effect is literally Trainer's Edict. I don't think there's that many. Like a dog in the deep dark hills of eastern Kentucky. I'm just going to make you discard here. <laughs> Swamp. And what else you got here? Vendetta. Well, that doesn't hurt. A, that doesn't hurt the Sagatog. Land. Yeah, that's kind of like a land. Oh, target player. This is back when you had to choose a player for the... Yep, that's pretty okay. One, two, three, four, five. So next turn we can play this guy, try to hit some things. Okay, they're not doing anything. Oh, that was a good draw. Oh, 
One, two, three, four, five. We bloom. We can exile two cards from our hand to cast Liliana. Good lord. And then we can just actually find Time Spiral. That seems pretty legit, right? This thing doesn't look that... Yeah, right, when our opponent has cast no spells by turn 7, it looks a lot better. However, I do like what's happening right now. I'll be fair. They might just be like, alright, let me see what you're doing. Oh, who saw that coming? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Sure. Uh, I don't want to exile Drain Life because it's one of our win conditions. So. Hmm. What can we do here? One, two, three, four, we have six mana. More than that if we want to exile some things. Drain life. How many? How much can we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We can make seventeen mana, which means we can almost drain them for everything. Uh, Rogue Predator, thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I think we're gonna go forest. This, this. No shuffle. Make you discard. We're gonna obviously play one, two, we're gonna play Chameleon Colossus and probably Wall of Roots. And then I think we can um, kill them next turn. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we can deal 13. That's pretty good. That's true. We don't have a lot of black mana, though. That's a good point. What if they have a counter spell for our? They're at nine. Oh, God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like we could do it. It's it's a real all in. We could have made a giant colossus right, but if they have any any like kind of bounce spell, and repulse and cyclonic rift are all in this cube, um, it's pretty bad for us.
All right, that'll do. Yeah, wooden chair as a computer chair is no bueno. Also, I consider the amount like I have an I have a Herman Miller. Uh, it's an Aaron, which is a really really nice computer chair. And I felt okay buying that because I thought about all the hours that I spend at the computer, like for work and like for streaming and for content. And I was just like, if I'm going to spend as much time in a computer chair as I do, like my bed, probably a wise choice to, uh, to like invest in a reasonable amount in a chair that's going to actually, um, that's going to last, you know, like it's better than, it's better to have a chair that, that with a 10 year warranty then then get then get like five different chairs in a 10 year period of time yeah this has a ponder in it i think that's very very capable Oh, Lord, when I draft the worst deck I can. <laughs> as soon as you say lower level fan, I know you're a bigger fan than you're letting on, buddy. I'm a big fan of Buy for Life. Like, I always, I like buying nice things. Like, when I buy shoes, when I buy, like, watches, like, I like buying nice things. Um, because they just last longer. I'd rather buy a nice thing once and have a nicer thing then buy a crappy thing like four times you know like i'm a big i'm a big proponent of buying the nice thing once plus you get to own nice things i'm gonna look at this ergo this ergo human yeah that looks pretty good that looks pretty good that price point is nice too i can i'm like once you start oh yeah that was a good draw Actually, we can wait on the ponder. I don't think we're going to need that. I'd rather know what we want to find with ponder. Oh, this is interesting. I don't think I've seen this, uh, Tonos. I'm looking this up now. That's great. That's great. So Sam Vimes' theory of economic ju injustice. At the time of Men at Arms, Samuel Vimes earned $38 a month as captain of the watch, plus allowances. $38 a month. A really good pair of leather boots, the sort that would last years and years, cost $50. This was beyond his pocket, and the most he could hope for was an affordable pair of boots costing $10, which might, with, with, with luck, last a year or so before he would need to resort to makeshift cardboard insoles so as to prolong the moment of shelling out another $10. Therefore, over a period of 10 years, he might have paid out $100 on boots, twice as much as the man who could afford $50 up front 10 years before, and he would still have wet feet. That's super interesting. And very true. The Shadows, thank you so much, buddy. Welcome back. Thank you so much, and welcome back. You gonna counter this? That would be so silly. This time we will get the planes. Big YouTube fan. In before ghost. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't do it. We're all friends here. We're all friends here. Well, if you're making $38 a month, I think $50 is not a good deal for boots because $50 when you're making $38 a month, is probably like a significant amount higher than, uh, I do not twitch. Well, that's good. Otherwise you'd have to see a doctor. This guy. 
Now we'll ponder because we don't have any action here. I want to find some action. None of these are actions. We're going to just shuffle these all away. Nah, I like that. Ugh, goodness. I'll keep you on the top, actually. You know what? I'll keep you. Oh. More eye. I'm going to get a second blue here. We can go one, two, three, four for this. And then we can time spiral, untap all our lands. That seems pretty okay. I feel like we'd rather just wait, right? No, we actually be one shy. Next turn we could go time spiral though. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Matthew, you're a hot just just open Twitch and I laughed because there was a Sphinx's revelation in your deck. That is that was that why is that funny? There's nothing funny about Sphinx's revelation, buddy. One, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder if we could just time spiral. I really, well, so here's the thing. If we cast Sphinx's Relation before time spiral, it's not great. One, two, three. We can actually activate you and go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana to work with. Or we could just tap mana and tap six and have seven mana to work with. <sighs> I mean, have you ever cast the Sphinx's Revelation? It's unbeatable. You can't even beat it. They also didn't attack with Tarpet here and did nothing, so. I agree with you. Time Spiral has always seemed medium. I'm always like, I don't really want to cast you. Because you're not storming, so like you're just giving your opponent seven cards and hoping you can do something cool before uh before they do. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, that's good that that's on top. That's good to know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I also kind of like end of turn Cyclonic Rift into uh, Time Spiral. That also seems pretty good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. God, we're like one mana shy of doing both, actually, because we can go. No, I think it's fine. I think we can just pass here. But I'm not going to. Three, four, five, six. Should have done it for one less. Then we can actually uh, cast the orangutan to kill the lotus petal. Uh, I don't foresee us needing brushland at this point. Hub. Hub and island. Seems good. 
Uh, they definitely can't counter it, right? Like, we have one, we had 11 mana in play. I don't think Mana Leak's really going to have anything to do with Time Spiral. I mean, I'm more concerned with this Morai, to be quite honest. It's unfortunate we drew, like, four lands. But we have a lot of life now. Oh, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do, 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 do. So they know, we know they have Mana Leak and Bitter Blossom off the top. Kalidus randomly, Agony Warp randomly, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So sort of like I'll use it. I'll add a blue. All right, we'll go to my go to my next one. All right. <laughs> yes, everyone knows the monkeys are doing it. Oh, God. This Morai is getting really obnoxious, but they're at 16, so they're almost dead too, right? Matthew Ori, come on, buddy. You left your ice chest, you didn't pick up those carrots? Unbelievable. Let's attack with this guy first. Give me that free card. I'm game. Cadaverous Bloom off the top. Psychotog seems pretty good here. I kind of want a Cyclonic Rift though. Hmm. Maybe what oh, I kind of should have played this and then just cracked it. I think if they go to play Skeletal Vampire, we're Cyclonic Rifting. Uh, we don't have the mana because we don't have triple, triple blue. We need a blue source here and double blue for this. We only have two blue. If we flooded stranded, we would. But all right, so you got vampire. You're gonna play this swamp. Confiscate. Scary. So we now you have mana leak, bitter blossom, and vampire in hand. Those are three of your five cards. There's one. All right, we'll go to six here. Not ideal. Wait, wait. Wait, never mind. Oh God, I thought Overload was in addition to the cost. I'm an idiot. Yeah, we could have played Psychotog. That was terrible. I thought Overload was like kicker. Because they all seem the same to me. Yeah, we overpaid there. Don't care. It doesn't matter. What is this? Draining Welk? Oh, God. Yep, that's pretty good. That's a 3-3. Three, three. Hmm.
Hmm. Let's go for it. Actually, let's figure out what we're doing here. Uh, we have eight. We're going to untap three, so we only want three tapped, right? Well, it's not the best. But we do get to play Simic Sky Swallower, which is pretty insane here. So, we don't need black mana. We need green, green, blue, green, which we don't actually have. Do we play a land this turn? No. So we need green, green, blue. What up, Chris? Oh, that's true. We don't need the most... Uh, yeah. If we can draw, like, a drain life... Here. What if we draw a drain life here? I'm going to laugh. Nope. Okay. So, we'll exile a card... This is an okay time spiral. We got to pretty much do everything. I mean, I w if we drew if we drew a uh, drain life, it would have been actually sick, but or profane command even. Given these two shrouds, so they take three automatically. They would would have fourteen, so they would have taken eleven. Would have went to eleven. I'm pretty sure we could have killed them from eleven. Hundred percent could have killed them from eleven with all the cards in our hand. Kalidus. Plumevale and Kalidus. Sounds good. Yep, yeah, that's pretty good. I was hoping you wouldn't have that, but... I guess that's fine. We don't have any black things, and... It's whatever. Profane one time. Wow. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> oh boy. So I can play a plume veil. Which I don't think we really care about. If you block here, you still take... If you're, you're probably going to block here, you take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, you die. So you actually have to block here, or here, or here. That seems okay. Oh, I think they're scooping. I actually said you're tight. Hey, tight, boy. All right, that'll do. That, that was a great game. All right, so they have Bitter Blossom, Confiscate, Control Magic. Do we have any way to counter, like, to deal with uh, enchantments? I don't think so. Ooh. I kind of want Dissolve in here. Orangutan seems pretty dead. I guess we have Cyclonic Rift, right? I 
I mean, we didn't see either of these, which would have been good. I think we're okay like this. Actually, Waterfront Bouncer seems pretty good. Just bounce. We can bounce whatever they confiscate or control magic, right? That seems pretty okay. Let's bring that guy in here. Come on, buddy. Take out the Psychotog. That guy seems a little too cute. Isn't that too cute? This seems good. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <sighs> I just want to be Oran Vipering, that's all. Like we did last summer. Here comes turn two better blossom. Oh, don't do it. No, oh, no turn two, but I lost him. Okay. Okay. We did see Agony Warp, so they could Agony Warp our Oran Viper, which is pretty sad. Whoa, that is desperation right there. Yeah, okay. Can't really do anything about that. Can you do a beard grooming stream where you watch where we watch you tend to your luxurious beard? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we can do that. Oh, they took the stupor. I don't even have a black mana. Don't force spike me, bro. They didn't. So if they kill this, though, we can probably resolve a Thran Dynamo unless they have exactly Agony Warp Mana Leak. Okay, well, Necrotel is good. One tight buck. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. I like Thran Dynamo here because I feel like the black and blue deck is not have an efficient way to deal with it, so that's my that's my guess. Fascinating. Well, we are in good shape for a Sphinx's Revelation here, let me tell you. Boy, I'll tell you what. Oh, a prosperity, eh? Where's our black man at? Did you guys did you guys have you guys seen where our black man is at? Do we want to pay three life and then have the mana leak it? I don't think so. Boy, where's my black mana at? I'll tell you what. I'm surprised I didn't put the lightning grooves on the Necrotol. I will take another two damage. Come on, Avery, don't do anything crazy. Oh, now you're putting it on there. Now you're doing it. Okay, I accept. P Lotus Patal. That's basically a land. This guy's basically a creature. All right, so we're going to go... Deep analysis here. Found a swamp. Play this timid gentleman. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if you want. Actually, I don't want to spend the mana for that. All right, we're gonna just gonna pass like this. 
keep up a cyclonic rift if we need it. That's rude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can actually uh, Cadaverous Bloom, where you be at? Um, so we go one, two for Oracle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you have a hard counter? That's what your dad's. Wow! 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 <laughs> Holy crap! Wow! That is brutal! Jesus! It's a children's stream, man! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, okay, let's take it easy. Holy smokes, man. Avery's coming with the real hits, man. Is this a real draft? No, it's a rerun. Oh, good times. Ooh, that's what we wanted to see. They have two cards in hand. God, this drain life's looking pretty rough right now. I mean, we could prosperity for a lot. I kind of want this ponder though, so I'm going to wait to do anything. God, we're going to go to five here. That's pretty brutal. I mean, they have three cards. Yeah, we're going to go to five. We're going to go EOT, Cyclonic Rift. All right, that worked out pretty well. Huh? <gasps> hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my cadaverous bloom. Um, you, you, and then you, no shuffle, draw you, play you, bloom it up. Shut up and take my money. One spicy boy K, <laughs> boy, oh, I like it. I li <laughs> no, that, that worked. I like it. I like it. One spicy boy. K. I like it. I'm a fan. So I'm afraid of them having dragon dra draining whelk or um Let's crack this. We'll go to four. Because if there's another land on top, we get Oh, you just don't get anything. Alright. But there was a land on top, so everybody wins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can both draw four cards. Hmm. I think it's probably just best to wait a turn. We're gonna draw Chameleon Colossus. They're gonna play Bitter Blossom and like we know they have Bitter Blossom, BB, Neck, Greaves. Uh, this might just kill them actually because we can Prosperity for like a million here. I'm pretty sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, they might not be dead, but they're gonna be real close. So 
So four, five, six, seven. Is this right? This guy can't attack, right? We draw seven. We have eight cards in hand. That's 16. Two for this. Oh, God. I guess we are drawing um, Chameleon Colossus. Oh, we should have. Yeah, we should have got rid of that first. You guys are correct. Does Profane Command do it, actually? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. We can deal fourteen and get back nothing really. So I'm pretty sure we just put Chameleon Colossus out. Drain this for four. Exile of Forest. Exile of Polluted Delta. Play Chameleon Colossus. We do have to account for haste, but unless they have like a floaty boy. And they have to like they have to have a four mana out. Like a more eye would kill us. That'd be pretty sad. Yeah, I think we might be dead. We're actually gonna we're actually gonna drain here for a million. Or kill this and uh get something else back. I don't know. This is actually a tricky turn. One, two, three, four. All right, so we're at 10, feeling pretty safe here. They have 14 cards. I don't know if they can utilize all of them. I could see keeping Prof... I was thinking of keeping Time Spot for Profane next turn, but I'm not sure it would make a difference. If they keep six mana up for, like, uh, Draining Wilk, like, I just don't even care. Yep, that is fine. That is fine. Go to 10. Hmm. Well, that is a problem, isn't it? Wow. Huh. And Time Spiral is exiled, so I don't know if we have a way to get Cyclonic Rift out of our graveyard. That is terrifying. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Wow. I think they just kill us here, right? They just Necrotal and then Lightning Greaves. Oh, wow. Yep, that's pretty good. All right. Wow, Platinum Angel. Okay, so we're bringing back the Yuktabi Orangutan. Yep, that guy would save lives at this point. Wow, that game was great.
I mean, as a streamer who uses streaming to make money uh, for his primary source of income, uh, I don't mind that they're getting rid of ad-free viewing for Twitch Prime subs. Twitch Prime subs are free. So, like, Chris, you as a streamer as well, feel like I feel like you shouldn't be upset about them getting rid of ad-free viewing. Like, an ad every hour or so is really not the worst. I'll keep this hand. Yeah, we boarded them out because the only thing we saw in game one was a Lotus Petal. And now we have seen more than that. All right, well, this hand's getting worse. Any blue or green, and we're good to go. Here's a Temple of Malady. Uh, I think ads, I don't like ads as a viewer, but I, I, I can appreciate them as someone who makes content on both YouTube and Twitch. Uh, definitely definitely understand where ad revenue comes from so yep this is a pretty good uh, series of events here this is pretty bad i really don't like both players drawing two here but oh, we didn't hit a land okay so uh, i feel like we're going one two here because <laughs> well i don't want to say it but i think we know Dan Omac, the least you can do is spell my last name wrong, buddy. It's literally in the Magic Online window. It's on my my Twitch page. It's on my YouTube page. It's pretty much everywhere you could you could think. That is a pet peeve of mine. Oh, uh, you did not use a capital P. That's correct, but <laughs> that doesn't make it correct. Yep, we're pretty much dead here. All right, and uh, I, I think our deck actually turned out pretty cool, but unfortunately uh, didn't really get to do much in that last game, and uh, then we lost to Platinum Angel with a Lightning Greaves on it, so that's pretty good. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe button. Check me out on Twitch and uh, Patreon. Both the links are in the description below, and I will see you guys next time.